So hello and welcome back to a new video. It has been a few weeks that has to do with my study and school. I'm so busy these weeks and I try to upload some more videos in the upcoming days. But here's the first video and it's a very short tutorial. It's so short you won't even notice. Uh, I just saw a question on the internet how to create a text and transparency text with a background color on the text and that's basically what I want to show you in After Effects. I've created a very short video uh, from a cat that's chilling in grass and well let me just show you what I've created. It's as I said it's very easy and well that's why this tutorial is very short. So let's take a look at it. So yeah cats and then the text with a background and transparency on it and let me explain you how to create this it's very short as I said so if you already know it you can <laughs> you can click this video away um, if you are just wondering how I did it let me explain you and um, there will be some motion graphic tutorials uh, in, in a few days maybe a few weeks I don't know when but I'm working on it I'm also working on a new channel layout so there will be a lot of things going on but for now I'm just showing you how to create that transparency look. So let's click on a new composition or start a new project. And just drag in your cat footage. Or oh, well I don't think you would have got a cat footage, but I'm using a cat footage. And I'm going to create a new solid and that will be my oh no, not a solid, a new shape, and the shape will be my background color. So I think I will give it a blue color I've used something like this and make sure you've got the anchor point from your shape press uh, click on that button at the left top corner and drag it onto the left side of your shape so now you can just scale it from left to the right um, just click on a new text create call it uh, I don't know um, this is transparency um, you just set it, put it in the middle of the shape and we are going to resize the shape a bit so it is just fitting as a background so make sure the spacing on the left side and the top side is at the right, right even pixels and just press S to scale it and because our anchor point is at the left side we can just scale it uh, make sure you click this button it's the um, well if you don't click on that button it's not uh, the two values are linked so you can see both values will change but you'd have to click uncheck it so you can just change one value so I don't know make it 90% and the other one 90 as well maybe that looks good Something like this, and the next thing we're going to do is go to a track math, of inferred math, the text, and voila, there is a transparency text. As I said, it's fucking easy. Um, just put it a little bit to the button or to a place where you want it, and now we can animate it. Maybe just duplicate the shape first and drag it beneath everything, give it a black color. And give that color a blur and sharpness effect, a Gaussian blur. And I don't know, just give it a blur like 40%. Decrease the opacity, and now you can see it's got a little bit of a drop shadow, so you can read it a little bit better than without a shadow. And to animate it, just animate the scaling from both the shapes. Press S, S and make sure they've got both unchecked and click on the watch and go a little bit to the left with the time indicator and change the first value to zero and now you can see there is a transparency text with the background and you can just easy ease it to give it a little bit of a better look and do it as well with that other value easy ease Yep, that's it. That's our effect with that transparency look. Um, 
this is something you see a lot in documentary videos or in videos people are creating from their holidays or whatever. Um, well, it's very easy, but you have to know how to do it. Just make sure you've got the right track map. And well, that was it. As I said, it's a very short tutorial just to show you how to create that transparency look. That's something a few people ask me in Creative. You know what's that website called? Creative Cow. It was. Yeah, I saw a lot of questions. How to create that transparency look and. I'm working on some motion graphic videos, so don't worry, and there will be another video as well about some movies, and I was working on, let me think, ah, I know, I was working on a video for 3D and CGI, so stay tuned. Um, there will be, as I said before, another channel layout that I'm working on, so I'm very busy, I have to do a lot of things, but I'm still living, so <laughs> don't worry. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next video. So, bye.